Hello there and welcome to a new tutorial for DF Hack. In this one I will be covering how to create blueprints and how to use them via these tools up there. So this is, if you are new to this, another part in a series of DF Hack tutorials. There is a playlist link in the description box below and in every video I try to explore a certain feature of this thing. So if you have a feature on your mind that you would like to know how it works, just drop me a comment down there and I'll see what I can do. So today we're going to work with the quick fort um, thing here. So the quick fort function is basically a blueprint library and access to that. But since we need a blueprint before we can actually work with blueprints, here we're going to record one first. So you get into the GUI launcher thing and over there you got a blueprint tool. So if you start typing in blueprint here, you get that GUI blueprint readout. That's what you need, click it and hit enter. So now you have the graphical user interface for the blueprint recording. So basically we can record anything, literally anything. So here, this is first off how we will name it. So let's call it three bedrooms three on two and let's call it like that so i highly recommend you to name your blueprints accordingly so in phases you can select what part of the of the uh, construction should be recorded if you let it uh, on auto detect it would here record the door the floor the constructions here and also the 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 fact that this is here this here is free area so it would record a mining job a construction job and a couple of building jobs so that's what it does if you go for auto detect you can of course select for yourself what part of a blueprint you want to record with this pretty useful thing so here we can now select if we want to capture the smoothing and the engraving and here's a little bit of a formatting thing well if you want to read them later down the road i think pretty text is better but i haven't really tried that out and apart from that the the rest of these settings aren't that super important so the next step is you left click where you want to start recording and now we go for this one and now we have generated a blueprint file just like that and you can use this for pretty much everything out there so you can blueprint whatever is a diggable carvable constructible or buildable and or buildable structure so that's everything that these blueprints can toggle this is a pretty mighty tool and you can do a lot of things with that these blueprints they get recorded into your game folder so when you're looking into the folder df hack minus config you'll find a folder called blueprints and that's where all the blueprints land in that you record here so with the quick forward thingy here you can now apply those uh, blueprints so you have here a library so if you hit that button, the pre-generated uh, blueprints will be disabled and only your own blueprints will be enabled. This is a pretty cool um, collection of different things. And if you want to dig yourself deeper into the whole blueprinting, this is pretty cool because you get a couple of ideas what you can do with that. So they've uh, built up a, a aquifer tap, bedroom thing, a, a bigger tomb. There's a lot of uh, pre-generated things, but we're not that interested in that right now. So we're looking for our bedroom blueprint. So now we're going to select the dig blueprint. And as you see here, you are ought to go through every phase separately. So we're now applying the digging phase and then we'd be applying the next phase and so on and so forth so now we got that thing on our cursor we can rotate that thing I think no these can't be rotated or hit uh, yes they can here with the transform tool so now if you hit those uh, shortcuts here sadly it's not toggle oh yeah we can actually toggle it with the uh, mouse here so you can flip it but actually you can also rotate it I highly recommend you to use the hotkeys actually because that's way more convenient so hitting those hotkeys repeatedly 
you can rotate the blueprint as you like it. And as you see here, I could fit that now in into this direction or flip it over to use it like here. It's pretty mighty because this way we can just create a blueprint of this and uh, just repeat it wherever we want to. And now we are going to load, for example, the construction menu. And now we could just apply this here just like that. Now it would construct the floors that we saw over there. And just like that, you can use these uh, blueprints. And if we select the building part, it would go for the cons uh, for the uh, furniture. Doors are a little bit odd. For some weird reason, they are only placeable on... Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> No, uh, it's, it ain't odd at all. They are not placeable right now because the original blueprint has smoothed tiles there, so that's why it's not placeable to tile. The red ones here are not smoothed yet. That's why it won't place the doors. It's a little bit finicky, but in all honesty, placing down a couple of doors here manually, who would actually care about that? So that's in a nutshell how you use this uh, tool. Of course, this is, uh, well, let's say, it's just scraping the tip of the iceberg. There's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of more things that you can do with it. You can actually record huge blueprints with that. You could go a lot further than I did here. And I think the more you work with this one, the more you'll get out of it. But uh, even in the basics, like we use it here, just with the uh, basic GUI here, and the quick for it as we use it like i uh, have explained here you can already get yourself a lot of work off of your hands because basically i could record one of these clusters and repeat it endlessly and i could also record this entire thing here you know nothing would stop me from uh, going like recording this entire cluster here so with such a method you would have a blueprint in the end that is pretty large but it's at the same time you see i could just expand my little empire like that let's erase these real quick to give you a quick impression about what we're doing here and then i think i'll leave the rest up to you, my fellow dwarves, because I think this is a pretty good ex uh, example of what we can do with that. Because, you know, we can also flip it. Like, uh, now it's fitting. Like that. Like that, just with a couple of clicks, I have copy copied the entirety of this thing. Once they've dug out that thing, I could go for the smoothing job. Um, the smoothing part of this one. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't collect the smoothing part, but you get the idea. I could go over the construction part after that and uh, get all the flooring done. It's really, really cool, and it's done. it saves you so much time. All right. So nothing more to say in this video, and I hope you found that helpful. I'll be preparing the next one because you see there's a ton of other scripts in here that we could use. Leave me your comment down below if you have any questions or ideas or additions to what I said here. If I've missed something because working through this is quite the endeavor, I'd be really uh, I'd, I'd be really grateful for any additions to this tutorial so we have a pretty nice documentation of this thing. So leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, consider subscribing, I'd be delighted if you did so, and down there in the description box, like I said, playlist link to the entire DFAC playlist and other goodies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.